For the minestrone soup, we will first put the instant pot on the saute mode for five minutes. We first add a tablespoon of olive oil. You can reduce it to about one teaspoon of oil as well. Once it starts, we will put two cloves chopped garlic, about a quarter cup chopped yellow onions, and then just mix it around for a bit, just 30 seconds till it becomes a little hot. After a minute it starts heating up, we will add the salt, one teaspoon of salt, mix it. I will add quarter cup of dried pasta, which is I've taken the small shell one, the small one, you can take any one, you can take the wheat one according to your taste, just mix it around. I'm adding one teaspoon of red chili powder and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Mix it gently. Then I will add a quarter cup of frozen vegetables and then mix it. This is just mixing it for about 10 to 15 seconds to 30 seconds each. I have taken quarter cup of corn from the can. Just mix it in there. Quarter cup of kidney beans that I boiled yesterday. You can even drain and take some from the can, which are already done. I am going to post a recipe, a link in the comments how I made the kidney beans instantly without soaking. I'm adding a teaspoon of Italian seasoning which are all dried Italian uh, mixes, herbs and spices. You can actually use the fresh ones as well but I'm trying to make it as a quick minestrone soup recipe. So we put that. In the end we will actually put a quarter cup of tomato puree. Quarter cup tomato puree straight from the can. You can even use fresh tomatoes that have been chopped or that have been ground. Mix it. I have been cooking it, sorting it for just about a minute more. And this is, I'm adding five cups of water. Five cups of water. And I'm just going to mix it for a few seconds. Now we are going to do the pressure cook mode so that our pasta gets cooked. You can see that the five minutes of saute are over. So we'll just pressure cook it now for three minutes on high and on sealing. Make sure that this rubber sealant is at the right place in the right spot so it seals properly. Now we'll close the instant pot and put it on sealing. Make sure the sealing mode is on and we'll start the pressure cooker. We'll put the pressure cook mode for three minutes. So seal it, pressure cook mode for three minutes. You can see after eight to 10 minutes, once the pressure has built up, the instant pot has come on the pressure cook mode and it's now going to pressure cook for three minutes. You can hear that the instant pot, the pressure cook mode is off, but it's still on sealing and it's still full of steam. I'm going to sell, release it fast release. For fast release, you just put it from sealing to wilting, and in about a minute, it's going to release on its own again. After about a minute or so, I put it from sealing to wilting, which was a fast venting. The little safety vent has gone down. Now we're going to open the instant pot. You can see that the macaroni is also cooked and everything is blended well. The soup is ready. We will just taste for salt 
and if we want to add a little sourness more to it we can either add lemon juice or a little more of the tomato puree but according to me this is done I, if you see my soup is a little liquidy i like it a little soupy soupy but some people might like it a little thicker so you can reduce one cup of water i added five cups initially you can also make the soup with just four cups of water so this is enough according to me you can add or subtract any kind of vegetables you want the corn you can add that some people even like celery in it you can put chopped celery in it as well so it's all up to you just as long as you put the vegetables and the beans according to your taste if you like this recipe please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more of such amazing recipes coming up